Hey guys, Chris here, back at SHOT Show 2023. I'm over at the Fix It booth. I got Josh here. Thank you. These things are awesome. I know a lot of us are starting to use them. We've been using the kits. Um, but tell us a little bit about how these things got started. And really, why, how did you make these things so amazing? <laughs> okay, so Fix It just originally started in cycle school. They needed a compact, multi-purpose tool that was easy to transport. As things evolved, people in the shooting community started adopting the tools and taking them and showing us that there was really a market for this, mostly in precision long rifle PRS shooting. And it's kind of developed and branched out from there. So as it kind of grew, we found the shooting side to be much better. So we've started to develop our tools specifically for that. Our tools have you know metallurgical testings, things that you know extreme, you know, high break strength with low brittleness. We have the Barrett ASR Advanced Sniper Rifle Program contract. We make the toolkit for them, and we did for H and K for the SDMR contract as well. So we can't have bits shearing. While they are standard quarter inch bits that you can replace easily, we do offer big kits and expansions and extensions. The whole purpose behind having a fix and fix kit is not to replace ne necessarily replace your bench tools. It's to bring a bench top experience to the field. Okay, so there are certain things that we can't do. That we wouldn't be good. I'm not gonna. I have a castle nut wrench, but it's not gonna replace your full armorer's wrench to stake and probably cord. Right. But if you're at a range event, three gun match, anything, it'll keep you going for the day. And something comes loose because exactly. you didn't do your staking properly. <laughs> or for some of you guys that may not know what staking is, not all rifle manufacturers actually stake the castle nut. It can loosen so, up, yeah. and when it loosens yeah. up, next thing you know, things fly everywhere. Your <laughs> oh my god spring goes disappearing off into the never never land. And now your rear takedown keeps falling out. You don't know why. That, that rear detent manages to shoot oh, everywhere. Oh, and it goes everywhere. It's in outer <laughs> space somewhere, probably with the socks. But. And then, so some of our kits are definitely more universal. Some are very platform specific. I'll run through that quickly. Um, I mean, our number one selling kit is the all-in-one rifle optics kit. Okay. It's, got, uh, it's just over $100 MSRP on a kit like that. It comes with our all-in-one, so right here. So that's a 15 to 65 inch pound torque limiter. You focus on this line, and then as you turn, those numbers will line up, and that's how the torque limiter works in this case. So that it's like an awesome. old beam torque. And it works super easy. Then we have a half inch socket and a curated assortment of bits to work with that. And there is a little bit of room to expand in the back, put in some of our block tools if you're a block guy. So you can add a few other options to that. If you wanted its bigger brother, this has our dedicated torque limiters. So the difference that I always say, this comes with a 15, 25, 45, and 65 inch pound. Key is inch pounds, not foot pounds. You're gonna mount the trailer hitch with it with foot pounds. Right. So, you know, we wanna make sure everything has a spec for a reason. Right. Now, being that this this works on a slipping clutch mechanism, so you're gonna literally just hear it. Click, 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 click. You're good. You will never over torque and over tighten with these. So a little bit more precise. And we have almost every five inch pounds. So if somebody wanted to buy extra, you know, if they want it, they're a vortex guy, we have an 18 inch pound. And that'll work for all your vortex rings. You never worry about over torquing a ring again. Right. So that's a very simple thing. For some people they know, what would you work in your, ring, your, your scope rings? Um, specifically, I, I know that in reference to the vortex, like you mentioned, if you over torque the tubes, you'll actually distort the actual image. And, we'll crush a tube. Right. Um, and so making sure that you have the right torque setting is, is imperative on making sure you're not damaging your optic. And then for the, some of you, you've noticed that if you don't torque your optic on your pistol very well, take it into the forehead. And some of us have first hand knowledge of that. I won't say why. Now, just kind of going in, we have an AR 15 maintenance kit, perfect tool kit to just kind of keep around for those AR guys, bolt scrapers, castle nut. A2 sight adjusters. We offer an 830 seconds adapter to integrate with any cleaning product that's out there in the market. 830 seconds thread pitch is the standard. So it can be Otis, Hoppies, Breakthrough, it, it, it matters not. So okay. it'll integrate with that. We have our works kit. This is probably our number one seller by dollar figure from us. And this one here is offered with either the all-in-one 
or with the individuals, it's just a price difference in that. Right. So this one here is like our three gun kit, but a little pared down so you don't get the full obstruction rods and such. But this is going to do shotgun choke tubes, block tools, 1911s, AR-15 platform, and, and pretty much anything else kind of in there. So this is a really good, you know, tool to work with. And then the works kit also comes with the uh, magnetic patch, which our patch is covering. So now you won't lose. Which we were just talking about that. I, I figured this out on accident. I took it off and couldn't figure out what it was. Dropped something onto it. And was like, hey, I figured out what that thing is. Uh, so super, super cool. This is actually the kit that uh, a lot of us here at the range have that kit specifically. Um, and I know John has, has gotten to a point where this is his gunsmithing kit and it stays in the back of gunsmithing. And his torque limiter has installed hundreds of optics. These bits have installed hundreds of optics and we're not. We're finding that we're not having to replace the bits every 10 or so. Um, right, yeah, our, our bits are good. As long as you're seating and using the proper bit. I've had a lot of people ask me here, it's like, well, what if it's close? You will strip a bit. Yeah. And, and people need to understand that T6 is not gonna go to 25 inch pounds. Right. You're gonna shear a bit. I don't care whose bit it is. Yep. It's, it's yeah. going to break. Now, some of the last couple kits that I'll kind of run through here quickly is, I worked with Sig Sauer directly. I live up in New Hampshire, so I'm up at the Academy. They came to us, they wanted a kit for the MCX platform. I said, well, can we do it for the MCX and the MPX? This was designed for a military application for them. So I sat down at SIG, and they used the magnetic patch. It came with the steel punches, brass hammerhead, and then this is what SIG Sauer with the roll pin punches. This is, if you own an MCX or an MPX, this is what they suggest and say that their armors want you to have without going ridiculously into the complete terror. Which a ratcheting, like a very small, compact so, ratchet. So you could literally use just the head, pull back the collar, that goes into there. So now you have that. Oh, that's cool. Then what we did is, Sig specifically asked for it. So this is a brass non marring head, so you can hit with that too. But at the same time, if you need to drive a punch, I'm going to be able to take this, put this in here, and work That's with that. That's awesome. So we do that there. And a lot of your parts are all something that you can buy piecemeal as well. So if you get one kit, you can add in. Like you could, you can buy the parts. brass hammerhead. You can buy just the ratcheting. You can buy the extension if you want it. You could buy, we have steel punches, roll pin punches that are steel, and we have brass punches. So whatever you kind of need, we have the, you know, we have that available for everybody as well. Now I'm gonna go over for one, well, two last things. So one, we start, we came out last two years ago with a compact pistol kit, and it kind of handled everything for general purpose handguns. Then we started working with Glock, and I said, well, we're gonna do a kit specifically for Glock. And this is what came out last year, and this one here has your. Uh, the small screwdriver is good for working on optics with the MOS system. Dental pick is really good for getting inside the magwell to pop the spring to remove the magazine catch. A magnetized front sight tool. Okay, both punches for the smalls, for the 43s, and the smaller the 42s, yeah. and then the full size for the 19s, 17s, 26s, etc. Channel liner insulation and removal. So if any of you have tried to install that channel liner, I gouged three of them before I was able to figure out how to put it in correctly. This would have saved me a lot. Because once you get it in there and you maul it going in, it's not easy getting it back out. Just, so just a, being able to rip it back out and then install it correctly would have been in. I usually tell people just a tiny drop of a finished light as well, just on the outside of the tube, slide it over there, and it'll slide right in pop off and then you'll be able to put in your entire firing pin mechanism. So that would have been a big help. So once again now we have our small all-in-one torque limiter. So the all-in-one torque limiter starts out at six inch pounds which is that front sight so you don't end up stripping and, and popping that. So if you're changing your front sight that'll work with that. 
Magazine base plates. We had some pain in the butt. Yep. 830 seconds adapter, and when it comes to using the ratcheting T handles, what's nice is that you can pull back here. That locks in now. So if you even had, let's say, like an Otis ripcord, you could thread that in and yank it. Or if you wanted to put brass rods and you needed to get a jag on there, it will work and integrate with that very easily. Then we did a simple brush non-mooring non battery door tool. So that's gonna help with any of your optics. An assortment of bits that work with the MOS system and most common pistol optics that you're gonna use. Now this year, which we have over there, it's kind of very open. We just came out with one of these that I designed with Six Hour for the 320, M17, 18, 365, 365XLs, and the P22 Legacy pistols of the 226, 8s, 9s. That's all in one. Yep. If you got a SIG, that's your option. That's your option. You got, got this option. Or we do have is our newest that just came out. Oh. This is our pistol armorer's kit with an armorer's block, parts tray, everything. This is all three of our compact pistol kits in one. John, I think you might be needing a new a new kit. $340 MSR. I mean, we went as far as even having here, if you took a six hour armor's course on pistols, they rec they used T-pins for triggers and for the magazine catches on the 320 M17 and 18 pistols. So that's the in-depth that we went to to work with people like SIG for things like that. And then finally, one thing that is very interesting here is, it's, I have another one here, it's called the Scope Jack. So the scope jack, are you familiar with this tool at all? No. Okay, so we're gonna show you this. This is something that's really nifty for anybody. So the scope jack here, what is this tool? It's really, really fancy. All right. So what we're gonna do is, in some case, usually you need enough room to get underneath the optic. In this case here, you literally would have to unthread it, take this piece off, slide it in, and then put it back together because it's so low. And what that's gonna allow you to do is when my scope is mounted, I would have done my bases and torqued those to the proper, six, usually 65 inch pounds. Then I would have dropped my tube in, put the caps on it. The bubble levels don't come with it in this case here. That's another kit that we offer. Right. So once that's on and my caps are on, I want the scope to go like this. And it's, if it's tight like this, it's nice because then I can set the eye relief where I'll need it on the rifle. But now I need to level my gun. So it can only be done on guns that have Picatinny rails that span the action. But as long as you have that and split rings, you're good. And all you're gonna end up doing is, on the other side, there's a little catch right here. And we're just gonna put that on. We're just gonna jack the scope, boom. The scope is level. So it levels the, bottom, the scope from the bottom. Yep, so assuming that your Picatinny rail and your bottom of your scope are level, that's all you need. I could literally have you hold an AR or a precision bolt gun, and I can do this while you're holding it. We don't need levels or anything. That is way handy. So once your eye relief is set now, you'll just take this off, put the torque limiter on, standard X pattern, you're done. Man. See? That's We've been struggling to try and figure out all the cool things that fix it sticks can do. <laughs> Clearly, they keep coming out with more, which just makes it harder for us to keep track of. And there's more, there's bigger and better toolkits. This is not even the complete lineup here. We have all the things that you can see. Long range precision, three gun competition, master field armor kits, and more competition. See? Like, it's just, it's awesome on the company that has so many products that they don't stop, they just keep on developing more and more products that fit use cases and then have options where you can fit just about every option that you need. For some of us that don't just stick to one brand, we've got all the brands, options for everything. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We'll be it. back with more from SHOT Show 2023.